Well, good afternoon, everyone. Or morning, or evening, or night, or early morning. We are here at Dirt Busters in Charleston, Illinois. We are fixing this place up, tilling, regrading, and seeding. Got Nathan and Richard today. We're supposed to have Mike, but Mike is not feeling good today. We got all this straw. It's probably not even going to be enough. Honestly, we still got two more bales on the trailer, but uh, we'll have to see. So hopefully we're going to get this done. Got the four-wheeler here, which that's about to get a major upgrade. Bunch of new tires on it. Fronts and backs. You get new ones on, those are probably originals. So, got some new tires we're going to be trying out, giving our review about. Richard's working on the edge here. Nathan's almost got this side pretty much ready to do. There's a possible chance of a isolated shower this evening. I think it's supposed to rain pretty much all day tomorrow. So, we're just going to kind of go ahead and clean this all up, level it off, and uh, make it green again. Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying the video so far. It is New Horizon Lawn Care. And I want to kind of give you a little insight on this job. So this job started back in late May, uh, early June here of 2024. And uh, we went ahead, we called Julie, we got all that done. Uh, the side that we didn't record because I wasn't allowed to record because we had uh, some representatives from uh, Ameren on scene and uh, at their request, uh, film uh, which I honored that so part of this job wasn't filmed due to there was some people on scene because we were tilling over a high pressure gas line of around 300 psi uh, which is quite a bit and I believe it was a six or eight inch line if I remember so uh, so we had a 811 uh, person there basically was there kind of helping to make sure that nothing went bad he was from a damage prevention uh, team uh, so I want to give uh, that person a round of applause for coming out and uh, just making sure everything went smoothly even though the line was a couple feet down it's better to be safe than sorry and if you ever have this situation you can always call and they will send a person out to watch while you dig around a gas line electric line water line something of that nature just so if something happens there's already someone on scene that knows how to take care of the problem which if you ever do hit a gas line the first thing you need to do is make sure you shut the equipment off and get as far away as you can you want to run upwind from it that way if it does ignite or blow you're going to be downwind of it you're not going to be in the path of that wind blowing that heat back towards you then the next thing you want to do is you want to call 911 you want to make sure you get the first responders there to shut the road off if they need to evacuate uh, any areas because sometimes that gas can get fed back into homes and uh, you don't want to end up blowing someone up. Uh, the next thing you want to do from there is you want to call 811. You want to make sure you call them, let them know, hey, we've hit a gas line. If there isn't a uh, person there watching you, and uh, then you just want to make sure you stay clear until the proper line has been shut down so that you can approach it. Um, but the damage prevention crew was awesome. They had 
uh, people there and it turned out really good so here we are getting the front done that was done all in one day up there on the sign once we found out we couldn't do anything really until we had somebody there we went ahead and waited a, a little while before we could do that other side now this is actually after that side uh, which you'll see here towards the end I've taken some aerial shots with the drone uh, you'll see that uh, that side was done uh, it took basically a day just to do that there was a lot of bobbing in and out of trees and dealing with uh, just the cicadas we had uh, early on this year they have essentially died off and have went elsewhere so we're not having to deal with those anymore but this is the side where the vacuum cleaners are here at dirt busters and uh, this job actually was just this was actually taken like the last week of June uh, we had a part break on the tiller and it actually set us back about a week and a half uh, this job took roughly about a month to do we still have some small things to do we've got to put mulch around trees and stuff like that but I didn't want to bore you with that stuff but this job has been quite the job I am excited to see how the new grass turns out we have put over 300 pounds of grass on this place we have fertilized it we put a pre-emergent down trying to help get the grass to grow we put good fertilizer on as you can see here I'm taking a little snapchat actually I believe I'm snapchatting a friend that we snapchat quite a bit and uh, so I was actually taking a snapchat there but uh, anyway uh, this is the side here that we did uh, the second time the first time I didn't actually film any of it um, because the uh, 811 guys and stuff are still there so uh, just a couple weeks in between couple breakdowns we had some rain we're also in hot temperatures we were running like 90 95 degrees with as you can tell very dry ground we did manage to get this all seeded fertilized uh, strawed we've used roughly about 16 17 bales of straw out here uh, I do have at the end you'll see a couple places I've still got the straw and at the time of recording this probably has been done but i'll get off here stop yapping and you guys can take a look at this awesome video again thanks for watching if you're enjoying the content which uh content is going to start popping back up like i said we had several things that happened here uh that kind of set us back and videos were kind of sparse here for the last 30 days or so but we've got several jobs coming up that you don't want to miss so make sure that you go check them out make sure you're subscribed to the channel we are nine subscribers away from 500 subscribers. We are halfway to our big goal of 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the video if you're enjoying. Make sure you drop a comment below if you want to know something about the job or want to see something here on the channel. Make sure you drop the uh, comment below. We've actually got some cool stuff. We did finally get our tires on our four-wheeler. Big thanks to Mel's Quality Tires there. And uh, we've gotten uh, some stuff done to the tiller. Got it fixed. Another big shout out there to Mr. Todd Patrick for helping me uh, get that put back together. Uh, pretty much uh, can depend on a good brother for helping me when something falls apart. Because sometimes these things can be a little complicated. Trying to take them apart and put them back together. But I think I've seen it done enough. Now I can do it myself. So let's get back to that tilling and enjoy the video, guys.
right so here we are basically just going in and touching up a few places moving some dirt i did bring in some dirt from a uh, another job that we did that wasn't filmed because that was another kind of quick job just loading up some dirt and getting rid of it but i will kind of give you an overall uh, video of that we are going to go in and till up around a swimming pool and do some grass seeding there here in the next week or so so uh, you'll see where that dirt came from in another later video but as you can tell by the back side of my shirt and my uh, hearing protection that um, it was very dusty out this day as you can see here I'm filling in some low spots right around this drain that are washing out and uh, both sides of that there are washed out I got to get that actually spread out according to this uh, according at the time of recording of this video uh, we've still got a few spots we've got to get spread out we do have some rain coming from hurricane barrel that we want to uh, make sure we get everything touched up and ready to go so some of this dirt here I actually spread out in this bare area uh, where there's really nothing there as you can see right between basically where I'm at and the concrete there it's pretty bare so I, instead of tilling it up I just thought I would add some more dirt and then after that I would uh, just kind of throw some seed on it roll it in and straw it and see if we can get some grass to come up there as you can see several spots out here dead uh, not doing super good we may have to come in do something about that because the stuff that you see there in front of me that's dead we didn't spray anything on that uh, it's just died from you know, rain so it might come back it might not with all the chemicals and stuff that wash out from the car wash and wash out there it's it's hard a lot of that may need tilled up and reseed it as well uh, there as you can see here I'm just going to kind of back drag this dirt out and get it spread into those areas that are uh, needing something to grow it's just some pretty good dirt and we're going to get it spread out get some grass to grow here in this bare area so hopefully this fall we'll be able to come back and show you how deep green this is how thick and luscious it is and how awesome we can stripe this thing up because certain parts of it stripe better than others so hopefully we can change that
thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more awesome lawn care content as we continue through 2024 Here's an aerial shot. As you can see, the right side there is also done. That is the side we had to have the 811 there because of the high-pressure gas line that ran right through that area. So we are hoping this turns out really good. I can't wait to show you. See you in the next one, guys.